Daryl 200 co-instructors and TAs. Well, how are you? So uh, this is just a little heads up in terms of trying to maintain a consistency uh, across all of us in terms of the grading. And um, and uh, it's, a it's a difficult task, but we're going to do the best we can do. And I think really um, to get a reference point, uh, you know, Julia has the very first part of the alphabet. She's been doing this forever. She is a course manager, and uh, it might do you some good to kind of take a look and see how she goes about uh, grading the discussions and now um, the CT1, okay? And um, I just want to thank all of you. Uh, and young Sam, Sammy, who's been around for a while, and Tim and Maria, who have been around for a while, and young Edward and Giovanna, I want to thank you all. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to go down here to the task at hand, and we're going to do the full grade center here. Okay, um, remember you can reach that either way going right here. You can just click on the arrow to get to full grade center, or when you click on that part of the task bar, it comes up. All right, so what we're going to do, we'll look at Tiger Adams here. Okay, we'll start with his critical thinking one. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do is, you know, you'll take a look at the rubric you know that Julia has sent out okay and uh, and just trying to be systematic in how you apply this two points for collecting data for three countries okay uh, one must be a developing country right and plus the plus the US and plus the world okay so they have to have all those and that was the, uh, in my original um, uh, um, uh, instruction to the class I said you're gonna have five lines on your graph okay so it's the US the world and three countries okay um, then you have to have two points for collecting um, all three data points meaning you had to get this right population 65 and above life expectancy and then the age dependency ratio okay um, this has to collect uh, data over t over time as well, and we'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, some people are making a little bit of a mistake of looking at just the dependency ratio that includes both young and um, aged, and I think that's because we used to have that before, and they're probably um, grabbing other people's papers. Okay, alrighty. Um, they they have to explain the trends and analyze the data. You know, and and don't. You, you can use your checklist. If you find a small problem, then you take off a small amount of points, um, a point here, a half a point, okay? Be very supportive, okay? Um, I don't want you guys to be confrontational with the, with the students, okay? We nurture them, okay? We want them to think that this is the best class they've ever had. They want to, I want them to think that every one of us is their friend, okay? And helping them to get through life. That's important, okay? All righty. Do remember that you check the due date and they get 10% off for um, um, every day that they're late, okay? Um, uh, the, uh, the graphs, okay? They hit that is also two points, okay? So if they don't have graphs, or um, then you can take out appropriate points in that way. You know, if they have two graphs, then you just, you know, make up an equation on that. Okay, so we can go in here and take a look at this one right here. Okay, and we'll look at the attempt. Okay, and the other thing that uh, um, Julia said remarked in her um, in her uh, rubric is look at the similarity report. So this is a, a great similarity report. I don't see how they get that. Okay, I'm a little suspect on that, but it was a zero. Okay, alrighty. So we're gonna go through here and um, make sure that um, Tiger has done as we asked. Okay, so. He defined developing countries, Mexico and Egypt, and that's great, okay? Um, and then he talked about the birth rate um, relative to more advanced, stable nation, okay? okay, And that would be a developed country. Um, and so he's done a good job looking at, the, you know, doing the analysis right through here, okay? Um, and he explains it, you know, working his desk job versus a farm and things like that, okay? All righty, so he's done a good job here. All right, so he has three countries, okay? Boom, 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 okay? Um, kind of odd that we have a little bit of a 
um, change in the, the um, font there. Just kind of make an observation, okay? All right, and, um, and he describes what happens in each of the countries, okay? So he's done a good job of the analysis and the description. Remember, this is only a two to three page paper, so they, they can't have too much detail, okay? And he looks at Germany as an outlier and he explains why that's different than these two. Okay. All righty. Um, all right. So then he gets in here and he looks at the United States. Okay. All right. So he does that. Okay. Um, and there's his graphs. Okay. All right. Um, so he has crude birth rate. Okay. Um, he has um, population of over 65. And he has the age dependency ratio, okay? Um, and um, so everything is in there, okay? Um, but um, when you look at what uh, Julia did, okay, so we're going to go back and look at her analysis here, okay? So she looked at her thing. It says, so your, grave, your graph for age dependency shows the wrong data set. We wanted you to collect the data for age dependency old, which is the ratio of 65 to the to the uh, working age population ratio of people over 65. So he just did the age dependency ratio, all right? So that was where um, his problem was right here, okay? So it says age dependency ratio compared to the working age population. That's not what we asked for, okay? All right, um, and I my guess is um, that's because uh, he was looking at old stuff from previous semesters, okay? All right, so... Um, so she, she tells tells Tiger what he did wrong, okay, um, and, um, you know, where, where he went wrong, okay. And then he says that your discussion um, did not appear to match the graph for the data sets because he talked about it, but he grabbed the wrong data, right? So, um, uh, so, um, so, so basically she says minus one point for collecting the wrong data, and minus another point for the disconnect between your discussion and the graph. And everything else was fine. She says the light graphs did look good. You did a good job explaining the difference between um, developed and developing countries and how the, how the, the um, uh, sociological difference between countries impacted the data. All right. Boom. All right. So that's how that's all done. So I just wanted to show you hers. Again, um, I, I think using Julia's grading as a reference point will really help you out. Don't be confrontational. Okay, please, 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 please. Okay, so I'm going to go back down here at Integrate Center. Okay, and uh, what we'll do here now is we're going to scroll over to a discussion. All right, so let's take a look at um, Tiger's discussion while we're doing it. We're going to grade user activity. Okay, and it comes up. All righty, so, um, boom. so he did a great job. You know, you can I can tell already by um, um, the amount of, uh, of, of typing that he's done right here. And you can also look up here. This has done a great job. Um, if somebody is a little slacker, let's say they only do one, two, three, four sentences, don't blast away at them, okay? Say, hey, you know what? I mean, you, done, you did pretty good. You can always do more, you know? Um, be very supportive. Be their friend. Um, don't be confrontational. Okay, because that just gives us a black eye, and then what happens is we don't we have people not taking our class the following semester. Okay, alrighty. So um, this is uh, looking at fertility in the discussion. Okay, and 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 he really does talk about uh, shows that he's done done his homework and looking at the website and the videos. Um, so what happens? People can afford the the cost, the ten thousand dollars. Okay. Um, um, and then he was he was kind of blown away by the fact of uh, being a guy um, that uh, that uh, that men have issues. All right, so he's obviously gone in there and he's gone through and discussed it. Very cool. Okay, um, so you can see that everything he's done here. He's not said I agree, but he explains why. That's great. You know? so I would say one point five here. Okay. And then I would say, Tiger, great discussion, okay? Um, I agree that cost is a barrier. Oops, bear, sorry, I can't spell barrier 
for, I see, I told you I couldn't spell barrier. Oh, all right, somebody's got to help me, like spell check. Oh, that's because I, it's not going to help me. All right, barrier. Um, I could have sworn that barrier, barrier. <laughs> you guys got to love my typing, okay? All right, barrier, no. Oh, is a barrier to health care. For so many people. Look at me. Okay, you know, did you know I have dyslexia? I really don't know how to spell it. There it is. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, I am glad you took notice of the mail. Im impact on fertility. <laughs> Are you guys loving, loving this? And birth defects. Keep it up. Keep it up, tiger. All right, so. You put in a little effort to it. Okay. Awesome. Very cool. All right. So that is it. Okay. So um, just a little heads up on that. And and uh, thank you guys for doing such a great job. Again, try and be nice. Try and be supportive. You point out where the problems are, but you also say you, you're doing a good job. Okay. Um, don't be aggressive, please. Okay. All right. Control, shift, stop.